Hey guys, it's Pastor Mike. Wanted to send a quick message to you guys, letting you know that we're praying for you all. I know this is a scary time, and uh, you're never sure what's going to happen from one day to the next, from one minute to the next, what's going to be the latest news that you're going to get. As I've been thinking about this, there's been a passage that has meant so much to me in the last several months as I've dealt with my own uh, challenges and uh, issues to, to confront and uh, face in my life. And it reminded me from when we looked at Isaiah. And I don't know if you remember this, uh, but when we studied Isaiah in chapters 36 and 37, there's a story of how Assyria is threatening Judah and the Ramshakeh, the, the envoy of the king of Assyria, is threatening Judah and, and essentially saying, look, all these other gods haven't helped anybody else. Uh, your king can't help you. So who, who are you going to trust in? And what he's saying was, in whom do you trust? He means you should trust in the king of Assyria. And that question, right, in whom do you trust is so important in situations like this. In whom do you trust? And part of us wants to just trust solely in science. And I believe in science. I, uh, I think God has given us as a, as a, as a gift, a, a gift of common grace to all people that we have modern medicine and, and all that important stuff. And, and wearing masks when we should wear masks and washing our hands and doing all those things. But in the end, those are, those are good things to do and we should do them. But in the end, I don't trust in those things. I trust in the Lord. And the question is why trust in the Lord in the midst of all of this uh, difficult time? And in some regards, the answer comes later in Isaiah in chapter 40. Chapter 40, if you recall, starts with comfort, comfort my people. And because they're scared, they feel threatened by what's happening. And the prophet Isaiah writes, comfort, comfort my people. And he says later in there, it says, have you not heard, have you not known uh, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth? He does not faint or grow weary his understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. What a great word of encouragement to us uh, in this scary time. My encouragement to you is to use this as an opportunity uh, to find uh, your trust in the Lord again. Put your faith and your trust in the one who does not faint or grow weary, uh, for he is there uh, for you. If we can pray for you, if there's anything that we can do for you, please uh, let me know. Send me an email at mike at gracepca.net. Um, Anything that we can do, please let us know so that we can be praying for you, lifting you up as we already are, but it'd be good to know specifics if you have them. We love you all very much, and we look forward to the time when we can finally get back together again and praise the Lord in the same room. Have a good one. God bless.